why is making it in the music industry so hard? There are countless videos from YouTubers online on how to make 100K producing, how to write songs, even videos on how Russ took $10 and made 1.5 million. Most of these videos say the same thing about consistency, hard work, and that if you do all of that just enough, someday YouTube will be able to be like Russ. But here's what they're not telling. The first reason why making it in the music industry is so hard is what I call the skill set barrier. With more and more music coming out each year due to the decreased barrier of entry, the amount of skill sets you need to have to be able to compete is becoming higher and higher. There are two types of skill sets that you can choose to spend your time on if you want to make a career in music your craft and the business side. Let's say you're a music producer. To be a professional music producer, you've got to learn a DAW software, learn music theory, or have an incredible natural ear so you can make melodies, gain knowledge of different genres and how to make them, learn how to mix and master, gain knowledge of composition and song structure. The list goes on and on. Each of these things alone are things that you could spend an entire lifetime on. Even if you're one of the lucky ones that's naturally talented, has an amazing ear, and can learn all of this in like two or three years, you still aren't making money because you haven't developed develop the business side. Because even if you make the best music ever, if no one hears it, you're essentially irrelevant to the marketplace. Now, in terms of the business side, you need to learn at least one, if not more of these things. How to make content, whether it be releasing beats online, YouTube videos, Instagram reels, TikToks, etc. How to network with artists or producers, how to create funnels or email lists, sell beats or digital products online, and how the back end of music works and how to get paid. I don't know about you, but just learning how to produce music at a really high level is hard enough. Now you're telling me, I have to learn about cameras, how to edit, how to learn TikTok, Snapchat, YouTube. It's a lot. The real challenge here is that all of these things individually take hours and years to learn. All of these individual skills are things that people specialize in and spend years developing. And now you have to learn all of these hats just to be able to get to ground zero and stand out, just to have a fighting chance. Now you could go and hire a team, but the problem is that unless you're a trust fund kid or someone with a really high paying job, you aren't gonna be able to afford the kind of people for your team that are really gonna help you move the business forward. Most of the people that are working for you for free are probably your friends who haven't really developed their skill sets enough because if they did, why would they be working for free? From what I've seen, the reason most people can't cut it is because they simply aren't good enough. And they aren't good enough because they haven't put in the time and they haven't been able to put in the time because they have to make money, which they can't make because they haven't put in the time. You see what I'm getting at here? Now, reason number two that it's so hard to make it in the music industry is because music has become disposable. So much of music consumption now is passive. Before the internet and streaming, you had to really follow and invest in an artist, buy their albums, go see them in concert. People would would literally save up their money to go buy a CD from one of their favorite artists. People just aren't engaging with full projects like they used to, so garnering a fan base becomes more and more difficult over time. The other part of this is that music is so small in the entertainment industry and is fading compared to other industries. For instance, in 2020, in terms of worldwide revenue, live music and recorded music only accounted for $51 billion. Video games accounted for 160. TV and paid advertising accounted for 400 billion. This shows that comparatively speaking, people are not spending the kind of money that they're spending on music elsewhere. Now, in 2022, the gaming industry brought in $184 billion. The music recording industry brought in 25. The majority of the huge artists that you see that are billionaires, Jay-Z, Beyonce, Rihanna, most of their money isn't from music. It's from some external brand that they use the music as a gateway to get to. Now, the third reason is that there is no clear path in music. The music industry is not like a normal corporate job. In terms of the corporate ladder, you go to college, you go to get an interview, you keep working hard, you prove yourself and you move up each year, maybe getting bonuses, salary and promotion. In terms of music, there are infinite things you could do. You could sell sample packs. You could try to go write music for sync. You could sell beats online. You could start a YouTube channel. None of these paths are guaranteed, which is all fine. I just want to make sure that you have a very clear idea of if you're going into the music industry, this is what you're signing up for. In my experience and from the people that I've been around, and I want you to know that that's not what I'm trying to do with this video. More so, I just want to be upfront, transparent, and paint the entire picture of how hard it really is to make it in music. My recommendation is that if you're in music for the money, get out. There are way easier ways to make money. I would highly recommend that you have some sort of job or income that can help you fund your passion or just be that kind of person who sends it is willing to do anything you know sleep on the couch and just like for the love the music you're gonna make it or die trying either way is fine it simply comes down to your standards of living and what position in life you're in if you enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe i'll catch y'all next time peace